Hey everyone, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com. Today I'm gonna show you how you can make your very own bakery quality bread right in your kitchen. Now I've tested 14 loaves before I came up with this recipe. It's so easy and I've made it countless times. You guys are gonna love it. probably have everything you need for this recipe right in your pantry. So start out with a cup and a half of warm water, half a tablespoon of salt, three-fourths of a tablespoon of active dry yeast, then you need three cups of better for bread flour, or you can use all-purpose flour, and finally a couple tablespoons of cornmeal, and that's optional. So let's get started. Put that cup and a half of warm water into a medium bowl, and add your salt. Stir that up a little bit to dissolve. And then you're just going to sprinkle over the top with your 3 fourths tablespoons of active dry yeast. Let that sit for one to two minutes and then stir. Now we're gonna stir in three cups of flour. Now I measured this flour exactly by putting it in the measuring cup and then scraping off the top. And we're just gonna fold that flour in just until it's combined. See how easy that was? Absolutely no elbow grease or kneading required. So once that just comes together, you're gonna cover it up with plastic wrap or a lid and set it aside at room temperature for about two hours and it should double to triple in volume. All right, our dough has risen beautifully. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna dust a large sheet of parchment paper with some flour. And you wanna be generous with your flour so it doesn't stick because this dough is very sticky. Okay, so lots of flour. And then just transfer your dough right over the top. Okay, and then with well floured hands, so really get your hands nicely coated, you wanna fold this in half. and then in half once more. Then dust the dough generously with flour, and you're gonna lift it up in your hands to form a ball. Then dust some cornmeal over your parchment paper, or add a little more flour, and set your dough right back over the top, right in the center, with the seam side down. Now you wanna let that sit uncovered at room temperature for 40 minutes. 10 minutes before your bread is done rising, you wanna get your oven ready. So you're gonna set up two racks, one in the center and one on the bottom. You're gonna preheat that oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit and also preheat the baking sheet that you're gonna cook the bread on. Then boil one cup of water. Our dough has risen beautifully. So now what we're gonna do is lightly dust the top with a little bit more flour. And then you're gonna score it three times with either a serrated knife or just a very sharp knife. And this will make your bread look a little bit fancier. Bakery style. Okay, now we're gonna take one cup of hot water and pour it into just a regular baking dish. Now place that baking dish on the bottom rack of your hot oven. And we're gonna pull out that hot baking, hot cookie sheet that we have prepared and transfer your bread right onto it. Now obviously you're gonna to wanna to use a um, oven mitt because this is hot, hot. Okay, now back in the oven it goes 20 to 25 minutes until it's golden brown. My favorite way to eat freshly baked bread is to dip it in a mixture of extra virgin olive oil, a little bit of balsamic vinegar, a sprinkle of salt and pepper, and just use that as a dip, just like in the restaurants. You guys are gonna love it. Oh, it's delicious. It's soft, airy, and the skin has just the right amount of chewiness. Mm. You know what else these are great for is paninis. Make sandwiches, have it with soup. Oh, just wonderful all around. 
thanks so much for joining me in my kitchen, spending time with me. If you want to print the recipe, visit natashaskitchen.com. There's also links below. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.